this live and um, you can catch this on the replay, but I, won't, I guess there won't be any comments that way. Maybe that's for the best. Um, <laughs> I'm just in a parking lot and I'm about this shuttle bus is right over there. I get to drop off my various bags for the various stages of the race. Um, Got, I got up, my alarm went off at 5, I snoozed for 15 minutes, and then I just did final preparations and got dressed. I have been going to the bathroom non-stop. <laughs> I know it's TMI, but I just I just find it baffling how free race nerves, you know, make me have to go like crazy, like a, like a, I don't know, like a small child or something like that. And uh, that's the usual kind of free race nerves, uh, just that, you know... It's just the system gets a little unsettled or whatever, but I'm really struggling this morning because um, I got some text messages and phone calls last night that uh, the lightning kid, my youngest one with Down syndrome, has picked up a respiratory tract infection, which happens quite a bit during the cold and flu season. It's not even October yet, so to be already dealing with this really sucks. Uh... My wife ended up taking him to a merge and having to drop a shark boy off at uh, his grandparents' place. And it's just, you know, she's at the hospital. She's got no sleep. She won't be cheering me on at, at race day. Hopefully, um, you know, he'll get some help and be able to, to get some sleep once he's out of the hospital. I think he's going to be okay. Otherwise, I would not be here. Um, it's not that kind of a case. It's just... These upper, upper respiratory tract infections, I've just, we've seen them a few times. Sometimes we take them to the hospital and it's really nothing, and other times, you know, the wheezing is pretty bad and we're concerned that he's not getting enough air in. Uh, so it, it, it does need to be looked at, but I'm just, you know, it, it feels like it's always something. And, I mean, I'm just glad this is the end of the race season for me because, you know, I, I get to feel like a heel and um and a bad father and um i just you know i'm gonna finish the race but i'm not concerned about time anymore i, w I was probably not going to race very fast anyways because i want to you know i want to take it in and take some pictures and stuff like that but uh now i just i feel bad for being here like like and you know, I, I've heard a lot of people talk about mom guilt, and there's such a thing as dad guilt. Don't don't kid yourselves. Mostly, you know, I can justify what I do because it, it does make me healthier, and like, not just physically, but mentally. You know, when I've had, I got my training in. I'm more. I'm a more patient person. Uh, that makes me a better father. I'm uh, more understanding. I'm less stressed. And that's what uh, triathlete parents tell themselves. But at the same time, I'm here in Niagara Falls in a park. And I'm going to swim, bike, and run. And my wife is in a hospital. And so is my child. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I sort of said, oh, maybe we should try to be more of a normal family. I just, I don't know. <laughs>